Deadpool's power is just absurd. Born Wade Wilson in Canada, Wade originally was a former Special Forces operative turned mercenary because it paid more. Eventually, Wade was given the most powerful and versatile healing factor in all of Marvel, after his life took a drastic turn being diagnosed with stage 4 cancer, causing a desperate way to volunteer for the Weapon X program, where after some brutal treatment, his cancer accelerated and his X gene turned on. Deadpool Deadpool's healing ability is so fast that he can heal from literally any injury faster than Wolverine, most always taking a few seconds, at maximum taking him a near 20 minutes to fully piece himself back together if he's blown to bits. During the Secret Wars on Battleworld, Deadpool survived having his skin completely melted off, which would see his entire body quickly dry out with rapid infection and susceptibility to temperatures immediately setting in. But he recovered from this and under 10 seconds. Deadpool has been shot in the heart, with his healing factor pushing the bullet out so fast that it flew across the room like a speeding 90 mile or 144 kilometer an hour baseball, activating a villain's jetpack, killing them. Similar to Wolverine, Wade had his heart fully torn out of his body. That saw him bleeding out the one and a half gallons or just over five and a half liters of blood an adult male has in seconds. Yet he regrew his heart and all of his missing red blood cells, sometimes in under 5 seconds, walking around like it just didn't matter. While being teleported to an island, Wade had literally all of the muscle, tendons, ligaments, blood vessels included, stripped from his legs with only the bone remaining, and instead of going into a severe shock, he just sat down and read a book. In order to resist being mind controlled, he has shot out both of his eyes, his head has been sliced in half, and in what would be an insanely painful and weird moment, Deadpool has had his entire spine, pelvis, skeleton, just everything removed, with him being hung on the wall like a frickin' jacket. Deadpool can even just reattach his own limbs if he wants to. In fact, it's so much easier for Deadpool to simply reattach a severed arm or leg that when he does regrow a limb, he'll frequently reattach his body part that will keep its healing qualities all on its own. But really, Deadpool is so special because his mutant gene his DNA has encoded into it the ability to create a specialized type of tissue known only as Blastema tissue. The very type of tissue that serves as the source for allowing starfish, salamanders, and healing mutants to regenerate themselves at all. In Deadpool's case, his Blastema cells work so fast that after being zapped into ash by Thor, whatever strand of DNA was left of him went on to regrow his entire entire body from scratch, leading us to perhaps one of Deadpool's and even Wolverine's most overlooked powers. I'm talking about the psychological phenomenon known as pain habituation. You see, this occurs when an individual's perception and response to pain changes over time due to repeated exposure to painful stimuli, changing not only how they psychologically go on to perceive pain as more of a nuisance than traumatic, but for Deadpool every time he or Logan have to regrow part of their body, their nerve cells, their brain alters the way they physically perceive and interpret any sort of pain signals, dampening them and causing them to physically be less sensitive to pain, to be able to psychologically cope with more of it and have a drastically higher threshold for pain tolerance. Strangely though, throughout all of Deadpool's experiences, it seems that his memories eventually come back to him no matter what has happened showcasing yet another power that is just a theory in the real world known as genetic memory, or the process by which certain instincts or knowledge from past ancestors are encoded into the DNA of their offspring, or in this case a brand new Deadpool, encoding all of his memory and skills back into him. Deadpool is always armed to the frickin' teeth, not only because of his utility belt, but because his extreme intolerance to pain has seemingly allowed him to store weapons in odd places. Places. He has housed plastic explosives in his stomach, has pulled out knives, handguns, and rocket launchers from somewhere. His swords are made of a ceramic-based nanofiber that allows him to cut through most materials. His bullets from his handgun can somehow go straight through the armor on a plane similar to that of a stealth bomber. He has been flicked the approximate 300 miles from New Mexico to Arizona by the Hulk, and Deadpool can recover from any disease, virus, cup of 
poison no matter how bad, given he has enough time to work it out of his system. Which also means he can withstand any sort of radiation, has come back from being completely turned into stone, a vampire by a cow, and instant death magic. Deadpool's strength feats, however, thanks to him being able to push his body far beyond the limits of any regular human, have seen him dressing up as Spider-Man and hurling around a medium-weight helicopter that would weigh something like 12,000 pounds or near 5,500 kilograms. He can kick through six-inch steel doors, and he somehow chopped down a near half a meter wide tree with his bare hand. But taking the guy down might be easier than you think, if you use his one major weakness against him. Unlike my weakness of being so nervous to get any of the science in the video wrong, that I learned that you should not fact check your video with AI because oh boy will it move that decimal point on you, while drowning Deadpool or simply strangling him would temporarily take our mouthy Merc out of the game, he would fully revive as soon as his body came back into contact with oxygen. And unless you can cause two planets to collide or throw the guy into a black hole, you're going to need to look at his greatest strength for an answer as how best to stop him. You see, for all of his similarities to Wolverine, Deadpool's healing factor actually functions quite the opposite. While Wolverine's healing factor heals his healthy tissue back to normal, regrowing healthy cells to replace the lost ones, Deadpool's does not. As Black Panther discovered and pointed out, thanks to the cancer, Deadpool's healing factor doesn't replace his missing cells with healthy tissue, but rather with a sort of dead tissue. A specialized dead tissue that is just wacky in how it works and how it functions to keep him alive. And while we go over its specifics in another video on how to actually beat the guy, the King of Wakanda labeled his power as the dying factor. And if Deadpool's cancer was to ever be turned off to be cured fully, then his healing factor would actually spiral horribly out of control, causing him to amass more and more tissue until eventually Deadpool would blow apart somewhere in the next 24 hours. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved my most interesting fact for last. The thing that makes Deadpool more powerful than any other Marvel character and nearly impossible to beat is the fact that he knows he's in a story, that he's a character on a comic panel or in a movie, making Deadpool a special being with an awesome name that the MCU has been hinting at. That we fully cover in this video where we go over what sort of special being Deadpool is. Remember though, it's all a trick. See you in the next one.